Hi, so today I finally have a haul for you guys, a thrift haul, and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I went thrifting today with a, a new friend, so I'm excited about that. Got to show her a couple of thrift stores that she didn't know about in, in this town. And so she was grateful for that, and she bought me lunch. And we had just a really nice fellowship time, and it felt really good to 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 be with her. So I'm really blessed to have had a good day in thrifting. And I spent way too much money, and it was money I didn't really have to spend, but I couldn't resist some stuff. And everything was cheap. It just added up, you know. So it felt like $7, and that may not sound like a whole lot to you guys, but to me, in the long run, it is a lot. Because $7 I could use for something else. Which now I'm thinking there was something else I really need to buy that I should have. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. Right now I'm just going to show you guys stuff I bought. Um, before I get started with the thrift stuff, I got this really cute headband yesterday at the Dollar Tree. I was attracted to the stripes of the bow. And I absolutely loved it. And the polka dots were cute. So I was like, I have to have it. So that was my Dollar Tree thing. I got this material, and it's not showing up in the light. It is purple, and it black check. So I thought those would make some really cute bows. More bows, which just reminds you I have to pay my Etsy bill. Okay, so there's that. I've seen this piece of material at the thrift store for quite some time now, but every time I pick it up, I just look at it, and I'm like, this is really cool, but what am I going to use it for? And... It had no price on it, but I think they charged me 50 cents, so that's not bad at all. And again, the lighting, there we go. See the design on it? It's really cool. I think I'm going to use it kind of like a runner underneath some of my stuff over there, which you will see in my room tour if I ever do that. <laughs> so it's pretty long. It's like an arm span wide. If I spread my arms out completely, you can't even see how wide it is. See, I think it's just really pretty. I guess you could use it as a scarf too, but I don't know, I'd rather just use it as decoration. And then I got this really cute shrug. I always like shrugs, especially short sleeve or half sleeves because I'm self-conscious of my arms and it's nice to be able to cover up with a t-shirt or just a little black jacket to make something look good, you know. some little add a black accent to an outfit and either like put a pin on it or pin it shut or whatever so this is what it looks like I just really like little jackets like this I think they're cute and then I got this really adorable shirt which I really hope it fits because it's size 2x and it says stretch I haven't tried it on yet but I thought it was so cute it's I don't usually wear white, but it was black and white polka dot, and I thought it looked very 1940s. It has a little waist belt, black buttons, gathered in the in the breast area, and I thought it would be really cute, and sometimes I kind of do my hair 1940s rockabilly style. haven't done it in a long time, but I thought that would be a way to do my hair with this this because I think this is so cute. I'm not sure what to pair it with yet, but I just really like it. I can't wait to try it on. I haven't tried it on yet, so I'll probably try it on in a bit. I got a tank top for my friend. I hope she likes it. If she doesn't like it, I will probably wear it. I just thought she could just wear it around the house or bed or something. And I got a black skirt basic black skirt it doesn't really oh it says size large so I think I could fit into it I needed a basic black shorter skirt for spring and summer so I don't know if that will look good with that shirt but I'll have to try it and see I couldn't resist getting this book because this is um I don't know if I own this one I hope I don't <laughs> Curious George Goes to the Hospital was one of my favorite books when I was a kid. Sorry I'm not telling you the prices. I'm trying to rush through because I have a feeling somebody's going to come home and interrupt me soon. 
If you want to know the prices, just leave me a comment below and I'll tell you, but it's really not that important, I guess. And then I got some Halloween stickers. They weren't all there, but almost all of them were there. So these are those cute ones you get at Walgreens, and I've never seen these ones before. So today was the day where I found cool Halloween stuff. And I almost got a Halloween shirt, but then I looked at it and I was like, it looks like the material is too warm and I won't be wearing it that often. So I put it back. I got a bunch of barrettes. So that's cool for making my bows for 79 cents. Happy about that. And then that was all at one through four. And at this other local store where I bought my scarves last time, I got two stamps. Which I haven't done stamps in so long. When I was a kid, I used to love rubber stamps. So I found this one. I thought it was really cool. And because I've been writing letters to you guys, I thought I could totally like stamp it and make it look cool. There's a spider web. You can't see because it's all stampy, but spider web. And these, now I'm telling you the prices were really cheap, $49.59. <clears throat> could not resist those. There was two more I wanted. There was a ghost and a pumpkin. I really wanted them, but I was really trying not to spend all my money. And then I got this. Goodwill was having an orange tag sale, so this was $0.99, cents, this was $0.50. Cents. So this is for Yogi, my guinea pig. Hopefully she won't knock over this dish because she loves to knock over her food and climb in it and do weird things. So um, hopefully she won't knock this one over. And then lastly, I got something I'm really happy about. Everywhere I looked, it seemed like there was little Halloween things here and there. And not enough that I liked them all, but I liked this one and I thought it was adorable. I could not pass it up. It's 99 cents. Look at this happy, happy little pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. And it is a, uh, I think it's a tea light thing. So I will probably put a, a light in there, like a flameless one, and see what it looks like. Here's the little tea light. And there he is, all glowy inside. So cute. So glowy so cute just look at that cute face it's like a little giggling baby I just think it's so cute I couldn't pass him up so that was my little thrift haul and I hope you guys enjoyed and so now I'm going to try on that shirt and skirt and show you So I will see you guys later. Bye.